Welcome to resplendent Peninsula Stadium where Salford City hosts Bolton Wanderers in Skybet League 2. If the game is half as good as the conditions, we should be in for a treat. And come 9pm, both clubs will be a bit closer to knowing where their fate lies this season. A win for Salford will close the gap on third place Bolton to six points with the game in hand, while the Trotters could take a huge step towards automatic promotion by doing the double over the Amis. Torrey going short here. Thomas Asante finds Gotts. Creates himself for a couple of yards of space. Puts a good cross in. Henderson comes to meet it on the volley. And Jokes nearly made a meal of that one, but he does make the save in the end. Here come Bolton through the middle. Safalayan on loan from West Ham. His shot deflected. Doyle gets there and Gladke was right at his feet. Spread himself well and makes the save from the Irishman. First chance for Bolton. That's a massive save and a huge moment for Bolton. Wanderers going forward. Looks seriously uncertain after the deflection, but Gladke comes out. Makes now himself come big. forward again, Wanderers. It's back with Affelion on the left-hand side. He's got options in the middle. The cross to the back stick is Grove into the middle. Headed down and somehow, whether that's been blocked or whether that's his own teammates got in the way, Owen Doyle's missed that one. It's been a lively start. Nil-nil after 14 minutes. It's Bolton on the attack again. Is Grove onto the right for Jones. Jones is low crossing. Comes to Doyle again. Takes the shot first time, completely took Ashi to mark the game, but Haladki there to make the save. It's got Williams and Kieran Lee coming across to make themselves available. Lee's the recipient, can't return it to Jones and got just to steer a pass clear, but it drops down for Rafa Lyon. Into Lee, gets it back again on the right, the low cross into the middle. Zolfer players scrambling as Doyle takes a touch, hits it on the turn, it comes back out to him from Haladki's save. And then pulled up for having a tug on someone's shirt. And it will be a free kick for Salford. And this free kick's in a good position for Bolton. They need to put it right into good area, but they go short instead. Thomson through into Lee, trying to create space. Square for Williams, and now out to the right for Isgrove. Very quick in moving it around Bolton, and it's Isgrove clips it towards the back post. It's found its way in, and Bolton Wanderers take the lead. I don't think it was intended as a shot, but Isgrove won't care. Ian Everett won't care, and the Bolton bench won't care as they watch their side take the lead at Salford nil, Bolton 1. That's a huge moment in this game. It's been coming. You could feel it. Bolton were going from strength to strength. They've already made a few big chances so far. From the set piece, they moved the ball well, worked it across the box. As you said, I'm not sure how intentional it was from Isgrove, but it finds the back of the net, and that's a massive moment in this game for Bolton Wanderers. Henderson for Towel. A nice ball in for Tom Sassante. Towel had gone too early. He's offside. It was a rare opening for Salford, that one. Torre with a throw from the left. Bounces off Henderson under pressure from Almeida Santos. And here is Grove. Ball back to Jones. Ball forward into Doyle. Wrestled off by Jordan Turnbull. That's good body positioning by Gotts. Let's Tal take over possession in for Thomas Sassante. He thought about the shot. He said he threads it through. Henderson lifts his shot over the bar. The angle was tightening. The ball was rolling very temptingly for the former Rochdale man. And it opened up nicely. But I think Jokes will come out and maybe just a bit too close to goal there. Yeah, and they're really going into the game now. Salford just making Bolton work the other way for the first time. Asante finding a lot of space just in behind Henderson, actually rather than alongside him and the pass this time was spot on. Comes to eight. That's halfway, he's clipped by Isgrove. No one giving us a free kick. Now the referee just starting to stamp a bit more authority on the game. Low, Henderson, got Thomas Asante. Good touch, takes Santos out of the game. Returns it left for Henderson. Got in behind again. Henderson stops the ball up. Comes back onto his right and passes back for Torrey. Landing the cross up. Clark at the back post, heads it down and flashes wide of the far post from Tom Clark, getting himself in. Salford set it up nicely enough. Clark a couple of feet away from bringing Salford level. Turnbull looking forward as the ball carries on rolling. Finds Robbie Gotts. Good touch in field, opens up a bit more space. 
Clips the ball forward, looking for Henderson now. Santos stretches a leg clear. Torre heads it forward. Towel, great pass for Henderson into the area. Ushered out by Santos and pulls it back for Torre. Henderson again, out to Towel on the left. Now Jason Lowe, lots of red shirts forward as he drills a low one. It comes to Henderson from the block and then Baptiste gets it clear. Jason Lowe might fancy himself for goal tonight against his former club. Here he is, he finds Towel on the half volley, lets it come down. Jilks pushes it away. Salford starting to pepper the Bolton box, but still no way through yet. Yeah, Salford really starting to force the issue. A couple of shots from distance, but the football is good. Going forward, as you mentioned moments ago, numbers getting forward as well. Now Bolton break, his Grove on the right-hand side into the area. He's got options in the middle. Jordan Turnbull was the wrong one. And he gets it clear for Salford, who now look to break themselves. Got slow with a heavy touch, MJ Williams takes him out very late there so it's a yellow card for Williams Torre with the throw in on the left hand side we continue Hunter and Gotts make themselves available Gotts picks it up finds Hunter Thompson came charging at him as Hunter feeds the ball into Deshaun Bernard on the right this is his first appearance under Gary Bowyer Hunter into Towel back out to Bernard Playing in the right back position now. Towel across to Jordan Turnbull. A bit more space over there for Salford. Pushing high in the first half. He puts the cross in from deep. Both Henderson and Thomas Asante there. It's spilled by Jilks. And he's pushed down Henderson. The referee's assistant has his flag up. I think Salford is screaming for the penalty. And the referee is just going to give the goal kick. I mean, he's bundled Henderson over. Henderson's just looks like he's seen it out for a corner. He's bundled him over and the referee's let it go. Salford can't get a decision to save their lives at the moment. A few Ian afters. Everts glance there, told it all. He turned around to his bench and he raised his eyebrows like, few. And I think that probably tells you what you need to know about that one. We were saying before the game, this would probably be the one game Salford fans would like to have come to this season if they could have chose one. Can you imagine the difference they would have made if the stadium was full of fans with the energy levels and the intensity of the game? Certainly not waned or suffered without. Torre. Three for Henderson. That's the left for Hunter. He's got Torre on the overlap as he drives in field, but he squares it forward for Torre. The ball into the middle is a good one. Henderson comes to meet it. He took it off the arriving Richie Towell. Now Bernard with the throw in. At what point does Salford need to change work rate and intensity into chances? I think as soon as possible. There's still time off in this game, but you don't want to run out of time. They need to try and find a way to score a goal soon. Bernard's good footwork. Square across into Thomas Santa at the top of the box. Return through. Comes to Bernard. Hits the ball into the middle. Robbie got his shot. Blocked by Almeida. Santos. And out for a Salford throw in on the right-hand side. A really big chance came through unlikely means. Dishon Bernard getting forward. The return pass to him was fantastic. It's oh, a lovely turn by Robbie Gotts. Now he feeds it through for Richie Tal. If he can get there, he does. The cross goes over. It's clawed away and slammed clear by Bolton at the back. Salford starting to threaten again. Out for Jason Lowe on the right hand side. Burgess, Thomas Sassante ahead of him. It comes to Thomas Sassante. Doing very well to hold off Sean Miller. The ball rounds back with Turnbull through the dirt patch as he slams a pass across to Luke Burgess Gotts in for Henderson now he's on the area on the right hand side the cross to the back stick Torre brings it down drags it outside his man hits a cross in and it's charged down and now Hunter on the left hand side lost possession but it was a handball and a free kick for Salford a wonderful chance there another great move from Salford but a huge block getting Jones on that far side who's having himself a very good game now Turnbull again just sends it long. It's headed down by John into the feet of Thomason. Robbie Gotts not willing to let him out. Now Williams back to Gethin Jones to slam it clear. Turnbull heads it back forward. Thomas Asante back for Gotts. Now Hunter. 50 seconds as Hunter sends the ball long. Eastman at the back post heads it on down to the feet of Henderson. Could this be the chance for Salford? Henderson lays it off. Deshaun Bernard goes to drill it. It's closed down by Delfonso. And Bolton bring the ball clear. And there's the opportunity gone for Salford from that one. Salford need to get this forward. Turnbull up to Torre. 
over the halfway line. Slams the ball into the middle. It's sliced by Williams. Gethin Jones, it slices behind, but there's the full-time whistle. And Bolton Wanderers somehow leave the Peninsula Stadium with all three points. It's what a game. It was a fantastic game of football. Both teams left everything out there on the pitch. Heartache for Salford, but I think credit's where it's due for Bolton Wanderers.